Now this blitz game that I played today, I dominated with the Karukan defense. And if you are thinking that, okay, there is nothing like domination, but you just sh should check this graph once. At best, my opponent had advantage of plus 0.4. That in the opening can be considered as because the opponent was playing as white as well. And if you see thereafter, the game was completely in control of the black side, which I was playing with. Now, this was the Karukan defense, uh, as I love playing it. And there's something more special to this game, which comes in the end game. So I would like you to stay till the end and have that instructive moment as well. Hey, chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is There Bagga, and let's begin with this game. Open starts with e4, I respond with c6, open goes d4, and here comes d5, striking the center. This is the Karukan defense, and the main line is when the open plays a knight to c3, that's what happens. So it is the classical variation of the Karukan. Uh, I took on the pawn, open takes back with the knight, everything is here, till here is regular. I went with bishop to uh, here f5, open plays queen to d3. Now, this is first abnormality, I would say. Open can generally in the Karukan when you exchange the pawns. Uh, open goes back with the knight on to g3. Bishop comes back to g6. And then open might develop the bishop. Then trade off can happen. But here open decides otherwise. I went with e6 first. I was pre moving there. But I should have gone with queen d5 immediately, which I did uh, after a couple of moves there. And then open goes back with the knight uh, on to d2, defending the knight on e4. And I tried to pressurize it further by placing now knight to f6. Opponent takes here. It comes with a check. So I can take back with a pawn. And this position has reached after move number 8, which is slightly better for uh, black. Opponent plays uh, queen to e3, sidestepping from the harm's way of the bishop. I take on the free pawn. Opponent now uh, tries to attack my queen with the bishop uh, on to c4. Now, bishop to c4 is bad because I can simply take another pawn on g2. And now, opponent is kind of hanging out on, on to dry because opponent cannot cancel immediately. Uh, queen trade looks bad because opponent is already too... Uh, pawns down and that would be disastrous further but that is the engine's choice what op uh, open plays uh, rook to f1 i get my bishop backwards not don't want it to be getting trapped any soon also what it does is prevents this bishop sacrifice which can sometimes happen so just in case if i don't bring that and i play something weird then suddenly if if bishop takes pawn and i take open can take with the queen and you are letting the queen come into your uh, play which is not really a nice idea because if you save with the bishop then of course another check comes in and you keep defending with the bishop uh, sometimes can result in a draw if you if the if both the players are pretty much not willing to change this but uh, eventually uh, this is a position i don't want to be in uh, because of of course queen intervening into my uh, territory. So I just went with uh, bishop backwards onto f5, which defends the pawn as well. Also, my bishop is not getting trapped now. Uh, now, opponent plays knight to f3 uh, with the ideas of putting the rook next onto g1, but then I still have an escape square, so nothing to worry. But I still thought, okay, let me begin with a check first. So, bishop to f4 giving a check. Opponent defends with the bishop, and I trade off. Uh, uh, trading is very good for me. I, I'm plus two. Uh, so it's good for me. Open has lo lose the castling right as well. Of course, open cannot take with the queen. If takes with the queen, I can take the knight for free as well. So uh, very limited options there for the opponent. So takes with the uh, king only. And now I get my queen out as well to h3, making sure that rook doesn't come uh, onto my face straight away. Open plays d5, trying to have some con uh, counter play from the center. Uh, because the bishop and queen are lined up nicely. My king is in the center. So I took on the pawn first. Opponent now takes the pawn back with the bishop. Of course, I cannot take because of the pin on the king. So I develop the knight now on to c6. I'm okay uh, giving away the knight for the bishop. Uh, again, a trade happening. 
uh, yes, this is an isolated pawn, but my position is much better. Uh, that's why the engine evaluation is also uh, 3.7 for fewer, fewer of black. Now, I'm going to push the rook in the center, uh, rook to d1. Uh, I have the, had this idea of pinning the knight as well, which would win me the knight at least uh, for the time being. Open can put the king as well, and then trade-offs can happen. Bishop and queen, everything can be exchanged. Uh, but I don't want to go into the end game straight away. I went with uh, rook to d8, giving a check, uh, pushing the opponent's king further down. And now I take the rook, opponent takes back. And now I castle. It's a weird castling, but uh, trust me, it saves my king for the time being. Uh, even if a check comes in, I am happy to go on to h8. It's pretty safe. My rook is now centralized, so rook can come into the picture. They try to defend the pawn, maybe push it as well. Uh, I can get my rook on to b8 as well, which is again an open file. And this b2 pawn can be targeted eventually, uh, getting my queen also into the action. I remember, the knight cannot certainly move, otherwise queen trades happen, which is again good for black. Uh, so it's still a dominating position. And I castle here, open gets the rook in front. Uh, I can get the bishop back as well, but I thought, okay, just let me just put my king onto the corner first. Open gets rook now to g3, attacking the queen, allows queen to give a check from f1 open saves with the knight of course queen if again queen goes back i am happy to trade so knight comes in between i now put my bishop backwards on to g6 making sure that this rook is not doing me any harm but the only thing now which can be troublesome is this queen somehow moving to a square which attacks the pawn on f6 because this is a weakness in my structure uh, any other pawns, I'm okay if the opponent takes because I have some counterplay here as well. So if the queen moves, I can certainly take the knight to, if, to a wrong square. Uh, or I can take a pawn as well, depending on where the queen goes next. So opponent here plays queen to c3, which attacks the pawn. Uh, and it can be captured next. So I place my king onto g7, defending the pawn. Opponent goes for h4 now. Trying to push for maybe h5, which traps my bishop. I cannot move thanks to the pin again. Uh, so I just went with h5 myself. Opponent now pushes for b3. I don't know why b3 was played there. Uh, didn't make me uh, didn't make much sense. I take on the pawn next on f2. Opponent now places rook onto f3. Again, a nice idea which attacks the queen uh, and the pawn is now attacked twice. So. A nice move there by the opponent. We were close to three minutes on the clock for almost both of us, so not a problem. I could find the best move here, which was queen takes on h4, which grabs a pawn, which defends the f6, and I'm pretty happy doing it. Now opponent goes with the knight to g2, attacking my queen. Now uh, again, my queen is under attack. I have to maintain the, uh, have to secure this pawn as well. So only possible move was to put my queen on g5, which is also a check. Uh, so opponent has to move the king now. Uh, king goes to b2. Here I take on the knight with a check. Opponent has to again move the king. And I, I just play pawn forward e5. Very simple chess. Blocking the queen's diagonal completely. Uh, nullifying the queen's effect at completely. And now I'm willing to now push the pawn forward and maybe promote it to queen. Opponent uh, gets the pawn. Doesn't bother me. Uh, now the queen is actually pinned. If the rook uh, moves, I can take the queen. If the queen moves, I can take the rook. So it's a good situation for to be in. I just still thought, okay, let me get back because point is my pawn is also attacked. It's not just a pin, but my pawn is also attacked. So I have to be careful. I can lose the queen as well. So if I'm not careful here and play the pawn forward, suddenly what happens? Rook comes here. And then opponent can take the queen though, and uh, this trade-off can definitely happen, which gives extra pawn to the opponent as well. Still, I'm material up, so uh, manageable uh, comfortably from there. But you don't want to complicate stuff. Just get back with the queen, save everything. Open place rook onto c3. I got my rook onto d8, trying to take uh, control of the open file. And now my idea is simple. Uh, I'm visualizing it as a nice geometry uh, that you can calculate from here. One is this check coming from the queen. And once that comes, uh, king cannot go back thanks to its own pawns. So the king will have to go up. 
onto these squares. How, what do I do about it? That's why rook to d8 was important. I want to place my rook onto d4, which cuts off the king from the fourth rank. And then once this rook and queen battery moves away uh, from the c file, I can simply place my queen onto c1 with a checkmate. And here now I can place uh, rook to uh, sorry queen to c7. I go with rook to d4 as planned, cutting off the rook. Uh, the king up and takes the pawn doesn't matter now i start to push my pawn i don't have much options i can move my bishop but why to move it it's a good defender of f7 uh and there's no threats happening at all this pawn is free to be moving this queen is also kind of free right now but i want to keep it a secret idea that i am planning this not hinting straight away to the opponent otherwise opponent can um, uh, deploy resources to save that so I push the pawn, open gets the rook onto c8. I push it further and now comes queen to a8. Again, opponent is willing to give me a check next, maybe. Uh, and if this check comes in, let me calculate this. So if I say just play pawn forward, then I'm in a can be in a bad situation as well. After a check, open moves up. I can give another check with the queen. Open goes up. Again, rook comes in between. If you go up, then I can take a pawn maybe. So again, you can land up in this position. Uh, yes, queen check can come, but still the rook can now come in between. So the checkmate will be delayed. What happens in the game? Uh, I put my bishop on to h7. Now my idea is if a check comes, I can simply take. So opponent cannot give me a check. And this is where the opponent makes the final blunder. Rook to h8 trying to uh, get the queen next on to f8, my opponent's idea, but misses out that I have mate in one now because the c file is no more controlled. So here comes queen to c1, final move in the game. Uh, and I was happy that the idea that I thought of few few moves back, I was able to execute. Uh, that is what is something very nice and good feeling to have when you are able to execute your plans as well in chess so getting my rook onto the open file first planting it uh, to the fourth rank making sure the open opponent's king is very vulnerable and then just waiting for the right moment to strike with queen to c1 i hope you enjoyed this and if you did like it please do subscribe to the channel as well uh, many people watch the videos but don't subscribe a subscribers count will help my channel promote to various uh, placements in YouTube as well, which would help my channel grow further. And many more people uh, can watch these videos and enjoy and learn. So yeah, thank you so much for your time. Take care and I shall see you tomorrow with interesting and instructive content like always. Bye-bye.